So we've got a few products in the kicker range that make life a lot easier. We've got your standard kickers and you've got your longer kickers and your curved kickers. But for me, one of the best products is the D-Rig kicker. The reason it's really, really good is because it makes life so much simpler. When you're tying a D-Rig on a fluorocarbon hook link, you have to tie a whipping knot or you have to tie the whipping knot all the way down the shank, which can be really bulky. We bought out a product that basically you just put onto the line, you hook over the hook and you are ready to go. It's really, really simple. I'm gonna show you how to use it now. I'm gonna show you how to tie it and why you would use it. Note as well that the magnetic tray is 12 inches long. So it's exactly the same size as the tackle box. So when I'm measuring out my rigs, I know that this is roughly 12 inches and that's gonna be my length that I cut off. So first off, I pull off about 12 to 14 inches of the connection Spectre fluorocarbon in 20 pound. I cut that off and then I'm simply going to tie a five turn grinner onto a size six apex medium curved hook through the eye and then you make yourself a nice loop pinch that back on itself and then you pass the tag end through the loop five times one two three four five and then pull that nearly tight don't pull it all the way tight you just pull it tight enough and then slowly tease the knot down before pulling the tag end because this won't crinkle the line then until you reach the eye you pull the tag end and the eye at the same time and you give that a good stretch and straight away that has made a lovely five turn grinner which is one of the strongest knots you can use and as you'll notice there's no kinking of the line whatsoever perfectly straight once this starts getting kinked you know it's not as strong as it started off if that happens retie it Practice makes perfect with a five turn grinner. You can also use the Palomar knot, which is another simple knot. They both do the same job. I like the five turn, it's what I've always used. Put that to one side, grab yourself one of the D-Rig kickers. This one is in the size medium because I'm using a size six hook. If you was gonna use a size four hook or a size two hook, then you go up to the large size kicker. Get yourself a three mil rig ring. And very simply with the kicker end, you place the rig ring on, pop the ring over. So that's actually on the slidey part now. Then you get the end of your line, and you pass that through the fat end of the kicker and pull it up. And once you get to there, basically you put your knot and your eye onto the kicker like so. And that gives you a lovely kick off the back of the hook. Grab the pointy end of the bead and it's got a hole in it and you basically just thread that onto the hook like so and then pop that over. Once that's over, give it a little twist, line everything up and you have made the perfect D-Rig. There's no whipping knots, there's no knotless knots all the way up the hook. You want the front of the kicker to be in line with the barb. It moves completely freely. There's loads of movement on that and that is how you tie that. It's so simple. On the other end, I'm gonna pull off 12 inches there and that's where I'm gonna start my loop. A figure of eight, loop knot. So twist it, push it through, pop that up and that gives me a nice figure of eight like so. Grab the loop of the multi-tool, put that into the loop and pull that down nice and tight. And if you want to, you can pull from either end. So that one goes on the loop end. Your hook goes on the hook end. Pull the tag end nice and tight like so. And that is perfectly straight. Simply add an anti-tangle sleeve. I only had a small one. I like the short ones on a bigger loop that doesn't interfere with the knot. And then that will be connected to my uni leg clip. And these will be for wafters, they'll be for snowman rigs, they'll be for critically balanced tigers. Anything where this is going to sink nice and slow and the hook's going to lay on the bottom. I don't want this popped up at all because it's a fluorocarbon hook link. I don't want this popped up. So this D-Rig kicker is for a nice slow sinking critically balanced bait. Okay, I'm going to tie this one on because I don't want to pierce this hook bait at all. I want it to be real critical sinking. I want it to act exactly the same as when I first cast it out as to when I reel it back in 24 hours, 48 hours later. So grab yourself a hook bait grab yourself a hook bait tire very simple chuck that in the top get yourself off a nice long length of bait floss cut that off there and then very simply grab both ends push it through the hook bait tire like so turn the hook bait tire over and then tie a double overhand knot and then pull it down nice and tight when it reaches the hook bait pull it nice and tight and then once that's like so you just split it that now can just be tied straight onto the rig ring so grab your rig grab your rig ring basically put one in through pull it up tight and then again i tie a double over hand make a loop like so and then pull it tight grab both tag ends and pull it down to the rig pull that nice and tight five mil from the end get yourself a light up 
and then blob it on the side of the lighter. So there we go, as you can see, it's got a lovely little wafter on there, about 10 inches of hook length, so that's gonna just drop down nice and slow. Hook's gonna lay flat on the lake bed, and the little wafter's just gonna sit there. When it goes into the fish's mouth, there's absolutely loads of movement. As you can see, it's completely unhindered. That's the great thing about these kickers. The way we've made them, the way we've produced them, is they are super smooth. There's no sticking whatsoever. So there you go, that's the D-Rig. Utilizing the D-Rig kicker in medium, using a size six curved hook, you can use any hook with it. It doesn't make any difference. As long as you've got that movement going along, you'll catch a few carp.